Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Prime, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. So, tonight we are going to be um, building a little bit more onto the conveyor belt. Um, just so you know, that sound that's in the background going woo -woo 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 like a fan, that is my air conditioner, and I do apologize, but it is so, so hot. Okay, um, let's see here. I just got back from the store, and I grabbed some of these conveyor belts. What did I say? I said I needed three last time. I think I'm going to need four this time. Hello, everyone. They're excited that I'm here. Yay. I... Oops, 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 oops. Dang it. That's the wrong, wrong direction. That's the wrong direction. Ellipsa. It's the wrong direction. Sorry, I'm probably like breathing right into my microphone. I do apologize. Oh, oh, jeez. Uh, jump up here, jump up here. And then we can go B. And now I should be able to grab that. Yay. <coughs> so we're going to go move. Rotate, rotate. And I'm going to have the natural direction of this particular thing going in the correct direction. Oh, it is so hot in the garage, guys. I'm I'm not even joking. And what are we? We're one day away from July 4th. <gasps> I hope you all got your fireworks ready. Because we are going to be purchasing ours on July 4th. We always wait until the day of. Because that's when you get the best deals. Because the day after, they can't sell them. Uh, I don't think there's any anybody that will sell fireworks. It's illegal in our state. <clears throat> I think. Don't quote me on that. I don't know the law. But, um... The reason I'm excited is because uh, last year there were these throw pop thingies, kind of like the dragon snaps, but they're they're not dragon snaps. They're something else, and I think they're called like ninja bombs or something. Anyhow, they are loud. They are the loudest little snapper thingies I have ever heard. It's amazing. Elapsa. <clears throat> sorry, I was watching some TikTok before I got on here. I'm sorry. Elapsa. Alexa. It's supposed to be the Alexis, but it's a, it's a gag. I don't know. Happy 4th of July to everyone. Open the gate, gonna have some fun. That look that looked pretty good. Um I'm gonna need more of those. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about ten more. Oh gosh, it's just going to be a video of me buying these things. Ugh. Yuckos. <clears throat> I wish you could buy in bulk. Like, I would like to purchase ten of these, Tom, and have them delivered on Tuesday. Thank you. Wouldn't that be cool? If you had, like, Tom's delivery service? Code, I'm going to get a screeny. I'm trying to rejoin you. I'm going to try to rejoin you. Yes. Yes. I don't know how loud that that fan is, by the way. So, I like I said, I do apologize, but it's just it's way too hot. It's too hot. Too hot. Too hot. Too hot. <clears throat> and you know what'll cool me down? Coffee. Hmm. Also, I was thinking about a different type of chatting system, like um, you know how when you walk up to Tom and you press E. What if you had a camera that like kind of zoomed in onto like the side of his face and then his dialogue showed up over here on the right hand side like a different I don't know a different way of speaking to uh, the characters you know mm, excuse me code don't burp in the microphone it's very unprofessional everybody burps it's fine in the fact that I just drank some coffee but I accidentally took like a a big slurp and a whole bunch of air just went down in my tum tums. My tum tum. <clears throat> By the way, I don't have work tomorrow. Yay! Holiday! Um, but I do have to go in on Monday, so. The guys that get off Monday have to go into work today. Or Friday. So today. Yeah, because this, this release is on. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> By the way, if you happen to be uh, looking into getting into YouTubing, YouTube, YouTuber, becoming a YouTuber, doing content creation, 
Um, TikTok is big right now, all right? But it takes that viral video to, to like, launch you off and to, to get you dim views, though. <clears throat> Here goes nothing. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. But I missed it. Did he get a screenshot? I I thought I think he did. Oh, cool. Can I get a screen? He walked over here. I don't I don't know if he got the screenshot or not. Hey, Goldie or Gold Gold Miner, you're you are in the video, so you will be showing up for all of eternity. Oh, and that was something else I was thinking of. Um. So, one thing I usually do is I think of my existential, uh, okay, Google, what does existential mean? Here's the definition of existential, relating to existence. Relating to existence. My existential, relating to existence of life. Yeah. My, my mortality. Let's, let's call it that. Because I'm not going to sit here and say, Oh, I'm a god and I shall never die. That's, it's not true. I mean, everybody eventually comes to an end. And it's good to talk about it. You know? Why is something that is so natural and so relatable to everyone around us not be mentionable? People are like, you shouldn't talk about death. Yeah, you should. Yeah, it should be a conversation that you hold dear as like something very precious to you because everyone's going to experience it at some time or another. I don't know one person who has not, you know, one person from the past who has not gone through death. You know? And with so many people doing it, we should probably talk about it. <clears throat> but something I was thinking about today is even after... Um, I pass my videos are going to be here they're going to be archived they, they are throughout the internet forever placed and it kind of gives me a really good feeling <laughs> knowing that years upon years from now I mean a hundred years from now I don't know if anybody's going to know the name Code Primate but if you were searching for it, it's still out here. It's still here. You know? Somewhere. That is very humbling. So, be careful what you say. Um, if you're... If you're going to say something on the internet, make sure it's worth saying. And sometimes it's it's just jabber. I mean, just, just talking. That is more than what was needed at that particular point in time. You know? You, you probably don't know. You, I'm probably just talking crazy. But that's fine. It's Friday. I'm having a great time. Um, I have built bots. Oh. Oh, I wish. I wish I could tell you the amazing job that I get to do. Because... I get to build these amazing bots, these automation programs, these RPAs, Robotic Process Automation. I'm very proud. So, oh, I can't tell you anything. Jeez, oh. It's not that I'm bound by law, it's just like, I don't want to get into the details of like, the secret processes of what I do. Anyhow. Basically, what I do is I take what somebody does redundantly every single day, like an, a very redundant task, a task that they do constantly over and over every day, and it just takes time, right? I take that process and I break it down, okay? What if this happens? What do you do when you get here? Do you do this, that, or the other? What is the the entire process? Like, I go from start to finish. What do you do? Right? And then I replicate it. I make a robot, uh, a bot program, go out and do it. And 
what's great is we have this thing called an orchestrator. I can tell you that we use UiPath, um, but we have this thing called orchestrator. And the orc, as I call it, um, I can schedule the jobs. So like, I'll build the process of what's supposed to happen, and then I'll have it run at like two o'clock in the morning. So when nobody else is at work, this redundant remedial everyday task that usually takes like four to five hours every day just got chunked down into a 10 minute process. It takes, it takes about 10 minutes to go and do this, this process. Holy cow. <laughs> if, you, if you think about it. Okay, Google. What is five times seven? The answer is 35. Okay, Google. What is 35 times 52? The answer is 1,820. So I saved 1,820 man hours. Now, granted, we don't know what the hourly rate is of the person that's working, but let's just say it's around 15, 15, okay, hold on, 18, 20. Okay, Google, what is current minimum wage in Missouri? The minimum wage in Missouri is $8.60 per hour. $8.60, and we would not be paying minimum, so I'm just going to take and add half that, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're going to take, say $12 an hour, okay? Okay, Google, what is 1820 times 12? The answer is 21,840. The one bot that I created saved the company $21,840 a year. Wow. I know. It's an automation program. And that's that's just one of like five bots I've created so far. But anyhow, they're they're very fragile. They they are like a no no um no mess around kind of thing. Um for example, let's say I'm trying to um trying to get to a website. To, to have my bot perform task, right? And it can't get to the website. That's not my fault, I can't control that. So the bot will crash on me, but it will, I've, I've got it set up where it sends me an email, creates a, a, a ticket for the help desk, so it's documented in case anybody else calls or in case I'm on vacation or I'm not there or something. And they can go and check it. It's just so cool. It's so cool. Wait, did, did Mad Mom join? Hi, Mad Mom. What's up, girl? Oh, I got presents. Somebody dropped off presents. Oh, no. I mean, yay. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. The lag is, is just too bad today. Hold on. Can we, can we, can I get this driven over here, please? Oh, oh gosh. Oh, gosh. Just, just drive it over here. Just drive it right here. There we go. There we go. Oh my gosh. Skills. 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 Oh gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my golly jeez. Didn't I, didn't I do like a green screen over here for something? I'm sorry. I am so ADHD tonight. I didn't take my medicine. Did I, did I tell you that? I ran out of my meds. <gasps> no, God, what are you going to do? I'm probably just going to order some more. Uh, I, I take uh, Wellbutrin for ADHD. Hi, uh, attention Deficit Hyper Disorder. And um, I know there's a lot of parents out there like, like Oh, my son, he's just, uh, he's just hyper. Well, probably that's the case. Um, if anybody ever says, I had an ADHD moment, you don't slip in and out of ADHD. Um, it is running constantly 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And the only thing you can do is train yourself to recognize when ADHD has got a hold of you because it is this mindset. Like, you tell yourself, you like, if there's something that you have to do, you convince yourself that you are incapable of doing that thing. For example, go clean the dishes 
okay? And this happened just the other day and I had to catch myself at it. I was physically incapable of finishing the dishes. There's no possible way. And then I was like, wait a second, that's my ADHD. It's only gonna take like probably 30 minutes, maybe, tops. I had to stop myself, drink some coffee, take a moment and go, don't play music, don't get distracted, don't do anything else, just get it done. And that I, I got the dishes done in like 30 minutes. I had plenty of time. It was crazy. But it takes that that moment of convincing yourself, like, this needs to get done. I need to do it now. I... That, that might be far off. Hold on. Is that... I might need to move that one. <laughs> That's okay. Fixing fixing stuff like this is easy, and I'll, I'm actually going to show you how. If I if I can, I can't touch that one. All right, hold on. Maybe no, not that one. Let's move. Let's move this one. Just real quick. Just going to show this to you. So to fix. Oh, okay. You know what? I'll just do it. Later. I'll I'll do it later. To fix a conveyor belt that's um, like that. You move the two corresponding parts. So I'd move the conveyor, the, the straight conveyor, and then I would move the sideways conveyor, or the, the pusher, and it would, uh, it would be the same length. I would just change it out. Does that make sense? I don't know that that made sense. I'm just, I'm just jabbering. I'm just talking to myself. Talking crazy. Can, can I? Oh, wow, come on, please. Let's stand on the box. Stand on the box. Ah, I got it. Uh, I thought it was too slow. Or too too low. Get, get, get low. Hmm. I'm, go I'm gonna place this one. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Come on. Come on. Nope. Yay. I did it. I did it. I did it. You know, we're not we're not even halfway done. Oh gosh. I just thought about it. Like we still got a lot of construction to do. We're only 18 minutes in. Lots of construction. Can can we get this whole thing done tonight? Oh, <gasps> maybe. If I move if I move quickly, I might be able to get this done. Maybe. There's three. I'll post these over there. One, two, come on. Three, four, and then. One, two should be right over here. One, two, just like that. Now, do I have any more pieces? Yes. I need to. I need to move one of these, which is going to be in that corner, and one of these, which is going to be in that corner, and then I'm going to need one right here. And, uh-oh, uh-oh, one right over here, eventually. Now, uh, as far as the openings, I need one, two, three, four, five. I need five more of those left sideways things. <sighs> We got plenty of time. Plenty of time. I'm making my way downtown, moving fast and I'm homebound. Du -du 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 -du. <gasps> Gold miner got, got re rezzed. And I found you. Du -du 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 -du. And I need you. Du -du 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 -du. And now I wonder if I could chop this oak tree down. 
and sell it off. Got a money in town. Do you think I'd walk a thousand caves just to find blue wood tonight? <laughs> I should kind of treat this like a like a live stream. <laughs> What's up, uh, Jackson? Hey, shout out to you, buddy. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. There's Will. Good to see you again. Gamer seventeen. What's up, bro? I'm just kidding. There's no chat over there. Oh, oh, by the way, there were some of you who were asking about Steven. There were some of you who were asking about Steven. No, Steven is not real. He's not a real person. He's my imaginary stagehand. Yes, I'm talking about you. Yes, I'm telling them that you're not real. No, you're real. You're real. You're totally real. You know, I love you. Yeah, he's totally not real. Um, <laughs> people are down in the comments going, Code! Stop it! Is he real? I don't know. He's not real. He's just in my imagination. Of course, if you also think about it, right? Uh, I'm, I'm going to stop you for a second. Because you're sitting here watching this video, right? And you're probably thinking to yourself, Hey, it's kind of like you and I are having a conversation. The person that's watching this video right now in front of YouTube, and you happen to click on it because you got the notification, or you were here because you like Roblox or maybe Lumber Tycoon 2, whatever the case may be, you and me, we're not having a conversation. Just so you know, this moment that you're watching happened almost 12 hours ago. It's in the past. But you're hearing it for the first time. Or maybe you're watching it the second time. I don't know. Who knows? And that's the weird thing. I'm sitting in my garage. Talking to a camera. And there's nobody else here. Mm -mm. He's talking to himself. That's true. But I'm also carrying on an entire conversation and talking about things that's just happening inside of my head, my head. And I think I got a lot of practice at this when I was in the Marine Corps. I know, you guys are gonna be like, how did the Marine Corps help you? Post. I had to sit on some posts that were not very good. Um, and when you're on post, whenever you're posted guarding something, there's a lot of time to sit there and think. Mad Mom? What's up, girl? Hold up. Did you just... Did you set that down for me? Oh my gosh. Girl, I love your outfits. Seriously. Every time. You walk in here just like... Queen! You, you rock the Roblox outfits. Every single time. And by the way, do you like... Do you, do you make them yourself? Or do you like go and, and purchase from the Roblox store? Like seriously, you could have your own designer line. Call it Mad Mom Fashion or something. I don't know. We'll we'll come up we'll come up with a like a fashion brand. Have you ever thought about doing like clothing line for Roblox characters? I mean your your fashion taste is awesome. If you could find a couple of designers to throw stuff together for you, we could make a killing. I'm just saying. Alright. Ten percent. Okay, for, for um, advertising. Hey everyone, go check out Mad Mom. All right, that's Mom with an O. She has got her own clothing line. Like, comment, and subscribe to her YouTube channel for more amazing fashion content. Steven, write this down. Contact Mad Mom about fashion ideas. What do you mean you don't have a pencil? Imagine one. It'll appear. Why? Because you're imaginary. No, you're not real. You're in my head, dude. Just write it down. Remind me later. Thanks. Well, what am I purchasing? Conveyor belt. Conveyor belt. <laughs> Yay! 
that one disappeared. I am getting so distracted. How many did I need again? I, I don't. I don't need these. What am I doing? No, 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 no. I need. I need. I need this. This one. Is this the one I need? I need this. Boink. Oh. <laughs> Are you gonna go put it back on the shelf? Don't put it back on the shelf. You can't put it back on the shelf. That was, oh, that was heartfelt. Oh, my heart. Okay. So, <laughs> you can't put stuff back on the shelf. Because the moment you touch it, it has to reset the ownership of the object, right? So, like, for example, I could just grab that for a second, okay? Now, this axe, even though I touched it, it has to disappear and it has to reset itself. Same with like this little box axe over here. See, I can't even touch it. Watch, 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 watch. It's going to reset. There's nothing we can do about it. It's it's the way that Tom's shop is set up. So I just I want you to see how heartwarming this was to see Mad Mom put it back. Hold on, is it going to disappear? Did it disappear? I don't know if it disappeared or not. Yeah, it's not reset. Oh, there it goes. And reset. See? Sorry, code, if I get in the way. <laughs> that was so cool. Because she's she's like, she saw me knock it off and she goes, Oh, I'll pick that up for you. And then took it all the way over here and set it back down. Like, I'll help you out, Tom. Ah! <sighs> There's one thing I always say in all my videos, and it's like, be nice, be a good person. And that right there, that was amazing. <laughs> you were nice to the avatar. <laughs> to, to Tom, the AI. <laughs> That's awesome. Tom's like, thank you, Mad Mom. I appreciate you helping me pick it up. It didn't take me quite as long to re res it into the place. Thank you. That's That's awesome. I do like the physics of this place, though. For example, all right, so if I grab this one, right, this is now under my ownership. But if I tap other things off, that has no ownership. And it's like, oh, I'm not in place. I'm not being touched by anyone. I'm good. I can just reset. <clears throat> See? Happens all the time. Um, wait, can I... I want to try something. Whoa. Wow. Ha ha ha. It doesn't know how to re-res. Oh, you give me my money back? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I need I needed three of these, right? Or five. One, two, three, four. I need four. So Let's buy, buy two more. Yes, I want to purchase. Thank you. And last one. Last one. Last one. What's up, bro? Hi, Nick. Hi, right, uh, as as Wart, as Warte, and then we we've seen Mad Mom already. Tom, Golden Miner. Oh no, Golden Miner had to go. No. Okay. Last one. Yes, please. Thank you. Alright, girl. Get into my car. <clears throat> oh gosh, that was a that was a horrible, horrible singing on my part. Get into my car. No, that's uh, mm -mm. I'm off. My tone sounds horrible. <clears throat> I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. There you go. Open the door for you. 
spin my convo show I'm gonna be myself or I could be someone else No one stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out so Please don't sue me, ass, uh, the, uh, Af, Afmal, and the, the singer. For some reason, I was thinking Asimo. <laughs> Batamo. From Jailbreak. It's not there. They drive cars, though. Oh, they have car simulator thingies. And the song's about a faster car. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I think I'm shaking too much. Why are you shaking? <laughs> I'm just a regular Robloxian playing the game of Roblox. Uh, sorry, playing the game of Lumber Tycoon 2, not Roblox, because you don't you don't play Roblox. Roblox is a construct for creating games. <laughs> What's up, Bryson the Fluffy? You don't look fluffy. You look like a dino. Like a dinosaur. Everybody do the dinosaur. Get on the floor. That was a that was a big song back in the 70s, 80s? 80s? It was 80s. Everybody do the dinosaur. Uh, one, two... A tree. Is this going the right way? Yeah, it's it's pointing the right way. That's fine. Do 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 do. How far? Oh my gosh, we are at thirty-two minutes. My bad. I'm so sorry. I'm so bad at keeping ah keeping track of time. I, I guess I'm not that bad. I mean, I did notice that it was thirty minutes. There we go. That's good. Man, we are making some progress. Look at that. That's awesome. Didn't we start like over here somewhere? I don't. I don't know how far we started out, but we got all the parts and pieces we need in it right now. So let's call it out. Outro time. And let's stand right here. That's a good spot right there. Outro time. Out. Outro time. Outro time. Everybody, it's outro time. We put up five and eight outro wins. Outro time. Steven, mark it. This is the time that we do the outro. Okay? Line up, line up, everybody line up. Sorry. <clears throat> That's um, bubble, 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 guppies. Bubble guppies. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Prime. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of videos. But it's really your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, I'm cool with that too. Love you guys very much. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't be something that you want to be. If you, if you really want to go and be a gamer, if you really want to go and create video games, go do it. There's so many YouTube tutorials. There's so many free programs out there. There should be nothing stopping you from going and creating your own VR world right now, if you wanted to. Can't wait to see what you guys make. I hope you make the world a better place and that you love everyone and that you're nice and all of that stuff. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. Outro. <laughs>